Nintendo has finally revealed the new Nintendo Switch, $350, October 8th. But can it compete with the Xbox Series S? And the answer is no. A disappointing no. The biggest thing everybody was waiting for all year was the 4K Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch Pro, the Nintendo Switch XL, the more beefier 4K ready OLED Nintendo Switch. And Nintendo has given us at least one thing, an OLED screen. Yes, a measly 720p OLED screen, but the screen size does get bigger by 0.8 inches. Uh, let's talk about what you get with the new Nintendo Switch OLED model, which is due out October 8th for $350. Mind you, that is more than the Xbox Series S. Yes, the Xbox Series S, which is the miniature Xbox that's pushing 120 frames per second games right now. It also has some 4K games. Matter of fact, I believe it has maybe a couple above 4k games i could be i could be wrong there but it does 60 frames no problem and it's actually pushing 120 frames per no problem it's uh 300 bucks but this video is not about the xbox series s it's an awesome system it is about the new nintendo switch so this brand new nintendo switch gives you a seven inch oled uh screen and um it also the minimum uh, storage is 64 gigs versus previous Nintendo Switches being 32 gigs. Uh, it has all the same features. You can use a micro SD, whatever. It does come with the new remodeled dock, which eliminates the USB port and finally gives you a native Ethernet jack. So that's the biggest thing. And the Nintendo Switch uh, OLED model does give you a better kickstand as the kickstand now pretty much uh follows the length of the switch itself rather than being some little flimsy stick thing that can easily break um same wi-fi ports uh still no bluetooth audio same uh speaker system is the previous game battery life uh, about the same um uh, still uses the same USB-C. um it's Roughly the same size. The screen gets bigger by default. It's just you use you lose that the that you know the out the 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 the, the, the unusable part of the screen of the original switch that that now becomes usable because now that majority of that face is uh the actual screen. Um and it's a little a little bit heavier, maybe at 0.93 pounds with Joy Cons attached. It's going to come in this like off-white color. Um, yeah, $350. And, and, and people are, are upset uh, for the simple fact that um, you're not getting anything much more than that. So pretty much the Nintendo Switch Pro, uh, the 4K Nintendo Switch, which it wasn't. It's the it's, All you're getting is an OLED screen, 720p screen. So you're getting the same quality, same performance. Um, on a OLED screen, um, and that's about it. So you're, we're not going to get no 4K Nintendo games, no improved frame rates, any of that stuff. That's just that's just not happening. So the thing is, people got to wonder what is the what what is the price hike for? What's the why why is it more than your traditional Switch? And the answer is the uh, OLED screen and the the dock, the new dock, which should have been the original dock, because how how do you launch a console in uh, in the 2010s? Hell, in 2017, without an Ethernet port, it's beyond me. Uh, well, what well, it's a it's a handheld which wants to be a console at the same time. So, but uh, yeah, that's about it. I wish I had more to say about the Nintendo Switch. It does come out October 8th. Will it sell? Yeah, of course it was going to sell. Nintendo has uh, diehard loyal fans, and they'll buy. They'll buy this thing and then they'll pretty much justify it and, and they'll make themselves believe there's a need 
uh, for this console. I mean, sure, you got the new Metroid Droid. I'm pretty sure Metroid Droid, whatever they call it, Dread, is going to look awesome on it. Just as awesome as it will look on a Nintendo Switch and just as awesome as it will look on a Nintendo Switch Lite. Um, but man, it, it's crazy when you consider. When you consider this. Right? The, the stuff Nintendo can get away with just for having exclusives. Exclusive games. Just because they have exclusive games, they can get away with some of the most abysmal stuff. The fact is, all these rumors and... And all the things that everybody want from Nintendo and regarding to their Switch. You don't get nothing. My thing is, I don't understand the point of the OLED model. It's it's a revision, right? Not even a revision, if you think about it. Because the minor update, like, Nintendo releases these models of these handhelds. They, I know they did, like, the, you know, the, the DS, the 3DS, the... 3DS XL to XL to 2DS, they do all these shits. It's usually the same system with some slight modifications, some new gimmick to make it a new console. The Switch Lite was already that. So the Switch Lite, yeah, it's a handheld only. The Switch Lite is an exclusively a handheld, right? So you have the Switch, which is your hybrid. You have the Switch Lite, which is your handheld. What the hell is this Switch for? Like, it's not a console-only Switch, it's not a TV-only Switch, and it's not a more powerful Switch. It's literally... This is... This is an excuse not to reduce the price of the Switch, pretty much. This is how I look at it. Um, but yeah, man, uh, it's crazy. It, it costs more than the Xbox Series S, yeah, it's less powerful. It's not... There's, there's no improvements to this platform, with the exception of the dock, which now gets a native ethernet port and you lose a usb port and the kickstand and obviously it's an oled screen these are the these are things for those who play their switch in dock mode majority of the time gets zero benefits so this would be pretty much you trading your switch just to get that native ethernet port because i'm sure maybe they play online but yeah for if like i and i used to play my switch in dock mode a lot when I had one, so this would serve, it would be, actually it would serve a better purpose to me because now I can connect harder wire to the internet. Do not think I'll be buying the Nintendo Switch. I'll probably try to win it in a raffle or something like that. But yeah, man, this is, when, when you have exclusives, man, you can get away with stuff like this. I mean, you know, we obviously see the stuff PlayStation get, get away with, they, you know, lock first party content upgrades for the PS5 behind paywalls, um, which is, I mean, which is fine to each its own. Um, but man, dude, I, I don't see the point or the reason or the hype for the, uh, a Nintendo Switch OLED model at all. I mean, maybe they could still come out with the 4K Switch, maybe. I mean, they have, I mean, the last, when did the Switch Lite come out? Last year? Yeah, last year. Okay, they probably could release another Switch again next year. Like, they've been releasing Switches every year since the Switch came out. You had the Nintendo Switch, the original, and then they had the improved battery version, which I think came out in 2018 or 2019. And then in 2020, you have the Switch Lite. And in 2021, you get the Switch uh, OLED model. And maybe, just maybe next year, you'll get the 4K Switch with actually improved hardware. But that's just me guessing. But you never know with Nintendo, because if you look at their previous efforts at their handhelds, there's usually about seven to eight versions of that handheld. And this people would never know. Is the Switch a handheld or is it a console? But at this point, it's in the trend of their previous handheld. So sure, we can go through the entire Nintendo Switch generations with about eight different kinds of Nintendo Switches that are ultimately the same one. This one, $350, you know what you could do with $350? You can get an Xbox Series S and six months, maybe, of Game Pass? Six or three months of Game Pass? That's over 300 games. Day one games. And you can, and, and, and all the games that are coming out for the Series S is, is 60 frames or better. The Series S ain't looking like an LOL console anymore. Got to think about it. 
That's my video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts on the Nintendo Switch OLED edition in the comment section below. I am out of here. So always, Xbox is the best box. I am the best bot. Good night or good morning if you're on the other side of the globe. I'm out of here.